in this simulation we will try to do a transmission line simulation using AutoCAD P spice so what we are basically trying to do is place a transmission line it has a transmission delay of 400 nanosecond and has characteristic impedance of 50 ohms we have a driver resistor placed close to the source of the voltage with value 25 ohm and we have a termination resistor of 25 ohm placed at the receiver end and as we know there is a mismatch between the driver impedance and the transmission line impedance and also a mismatch between the transmission line and the receiver so there is going to be some reflection our purpose is not to study the theory of the transmission line and reflection you can take a separate course in high speed design or transmission line theory uh, in this in this uh, video we are going to learn how to use the tool to do a simulation so i'll quickly throw show how this pulses uh, simulation looks like and then we will go back and uh, create this simulation so once you run the simulation you get a window like this and then you can right click anywhere on this double click and then basically trace add trace and then one of the voltage that we want is the input voltage so we we click on voltage at v1 plus and this shows is a piecewise uh, linear kind of voltage waveform. It's uh, zero for the first hundred second, and then one volt for the next one hundred second, microsecond, nanoseconds. The next thing we want to do is we need to add the trace. I want to make sure you are able to see it. Okay, so trace, add trace, and then uh, we go on to voltage at R2 pin 2. So we see that this is some reflection and this is some reflection. The value, the magnitude, and the distance are dependent upon transmission line, the values of the series and termination register. But as we said, we are not going to go into the details of this. So this is what we are going to simulate and I am going to go backwards to show you how to do this. So first we will try to, we are deleting this transmission line T1 and trying to place this transmission line uh, which has 400 nanosecond of delay and 50 ohm of impedance. So what we do is we go to analog in the we go to place and go to analog and then you can click on T not T Gaussi keep it simple T is for transmission line and you click on transmission line and you can place it anywhere somewhere like this then you basically go back to your circuit place it here connect the two ends to these resistors to set the values of T1, you double click it and then you go to its, its uh, parameters. TD is the transmission delay and you put 500 nanosecond here. Z0 is its characteristic impedance, you put 50 ohm here. And then you can also make these values display using display name and value. It helps to actually visualize what's there. Name and value. And then that's that's how we set the transmission line. Our next thing is how to create this voltage source. Basically, this voltage source has starting voltage of zero the peak voltage is 1 volt we have delay of 100 nanosecond rise time is 10 nanosecond fall time is 10 nanosecond 
the pulse width is 100 nanosecond and the total pulse duration is for 10 microsecond so one way to do this using uh, add this go to place and then go to source and then you are going to uh, wait a second let's say it's in analog I select all of them and then I go to so to look for the V pulse part you you can use a uh, can search with V pulse and it will show a voltage source called V pulse and then just place this part over here and then next thing you would like to do is to uh, to assign the values of these parameters which are V1 V you can you can double click V1 and assign the values here for example let's keep uh, V1 at uh, 1, V2 at 0, rise time let's keep at uh, 10, millise 10 nanoseconds, uh, fall time at 10 nanoseconds of 10. Okay, this is so you can assign the TD, for example, as uh, TD as hundred nanosecond and rise and fall times at 10 nanoseconds T rise T fall at 10 nanoseconds and then the pulse width we are setting it to 100 nanoseconds and the total pulse duration is let's say 10 microsecond and then let's keep V1 at 0 and V2 at 1 so if you uh, simulate this pulse, of course you will have to do these pies edit simulation. I've already done it, but you must set it run time to four microseconds. We want to run the simulation for four microseconds. And the other option you want to make sure that it's time domain simulation. And on the, the options you need to select the analog cell uh, simulation and with this we should be all set to do the simulation you run this you get this window and on this window you need to trace add trace and the first step that we want to add is the voltage at v1 plus which is shown as a pulse of one volt and has a duration of one second one second low and then the rise time of 10 nanoseconds then another uh, 100 nanoseconds and another fall time of 10 nanoseconds next step that we want to plot is the curve at at this point r2 so we are going to do is trace add trace and you will select the voltage at voltage at R2 V at R2.2 so it looks like the R2.2 is the negative edge so let's try uh, trace at trace V R2.1 so it looks something wrong here so you're looking at the problem here both this voltage are zero 
and does not seem to make any sense so what we are going to do is I figured out that this TD is set at 500 seconds which is a very long transmission line we want to set it to four, something like 400 nanoseconds 400 nanoseconds and then we want to rerun the simulation and then again add the traces let's say voltage at uh, v1 plus plus and then add trace voltage at r2 dot 2 so you can see that this is the voltage at r2 at the receiver and these are the reflections because of the discontinuity now if you if you change these values of R1 and R2 to 50 ohm so that they, the driver impedance matches the transmission line and the receiver impedance also matches this transmission line and if you read on the simulation uh, it will come up with the will, you can then you trace add to traces you put a voltage at voltage at V1 plus that's our stimulus and then add trace voltage at R2 dot 2 so basically in this case you can see there is no reflection because the transmission line impedance matches the driver now with this setup we should be able to uh, simulate it, it just shows how to simulate the transmission line using KDS.